Joining us now is Judy Katz. Welcome to the show, Judy. How are you? I am great. Thank you so much for having me on today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, we met recently because I was, uh, you know, I, I called you looking for someone and then I thought you weren't the right someone, but then you turned out to be the right someone. So Judy, what <laughs> you do is you bring stories to life and you help people become published authors. Yeah, I'm a book doula. I, I help birth your inner book. And so now, very often, yeah, the book that people think they should write isn't the right book for them to write. So that's one of my... Um, superhero powers in life, and believe me, in other areas of life, I wander around the desert. But um, when it comes to ghostwriting books and publishing and marketing them, that's my that's my go to. That that's who I am. Now, now, who should write a book? At what point in someone's journey um, should should someone consider whether or not they could be an author? You know, if people want more um, money, time, and magic in their lives, if they have a compelling uh, story with a lot of life lessons that they believe there are people who can benefit from those stories, they should tell them. Um, the word author is part of authority. I can't get people on the big shows or get them speaking opportunities unless they have a book these days. It's kind of a, a go-to, must-have, very important tool because it opens doors. And several of my, of the 50 books I've done, the authors have made millions, but not from selling hundreds of thousands of copies, more from a cover letter, sending it out to the CEOs or other leaders in their targeted audiences, and that opens doors globally. Yeah, so that's who should uh, write a book. In other words, most people. <laughs> but it is an investment, so not everybody can do it. As I was sharing with you on the phone when we were first talking, I've been able to write a chapter inside one of those like combination books. But I know, Judy, like my, my heart is right in your hands because I am so excited. I want to work with you. Because I believe what's, you know, people wouldn't believe this, but I tend to be shy and uh, the television show helps me be an extrovert. And I am an extrovert in some ways, but when it comes to either filing for being a woman-owned business, I haven't done that. And I've been a woman-owned business for 20 oh. years. When it comes to writing a book, like I, there's, there's a stop, you know, like sometimes there's like a, I don't know if it's a fear or if it's a imposter syndrome, or maybe we don't think that we're going to be good enough or whatever it is. And we just miss that one extra little step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my own life in action. And I'm sure you have to work with a lot of your authors that way is to just get them right over the threshold, you know, and once they work with you, it's like taking that first step towards, towards a reality. And that's the part I think that people need a little help with. It's just that little like guiding yeah, hand. No, 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 uh, big time. Uh, again, I said some people are not sure what story they want to tell. <clears throat> and I do a lot of research to see what other books or anything like it, to see what has been written about them already, you know, who they are in the world so far, and also what they want this book to do for them. Just like having a child. You, you know what you want. That is your legacy. And a book is another kind of legacy. So let me ask you, what would you, in the best of all possible worlds, in service to you and your wish list, what would you want a book to do for you? I, yeah, I think I, I do love legacy. I love being, I love sentimental things. And I think it would be nice someday if, uh, instead of just looking on, you know, old videos of me, like if I do have descendants, I don't know if I'm going to yet. I don't have any grandchildren yet, but it would be nice if they picked it up and be like, oh, this was the book that my grandma wrote. And, and uh, I want to 
just look at her words for wisdom. I don't, I don't exactly know what I want from the book, but I just feel like it would be something nice. I also have a lot of people that come to me for advice, uh, Judy, and I think it's one form of replicating my knowledge, which brings other people either joy or it can educate them in some way that can make a difference in their life. So I think it would be helpful to have something tangible um, where somebody could read the words as opposed to simply watching me give a course, if that makes sense to you. I mean, I'm coming up with this stuff sense. spontaneously. Like, I'm just, you no, ask no, me the question. No, I'll just yeah. ask you the question. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. And you know, one of the unintended benefits of writing a book is that you uh, are, most of us are very close to our lives, you know, almost like that bricked in Edgar Allan Poe thing. So we don't always see who we are and what our life lessons are. When you write the book, you get acquainted with yourself and fall in love with yourself all over again. So it's a gift to the world and it's a gift to you. True. I can, I can see where that might be, uh, might uh, be true as well. Now, how, like, I guess cost or investment, you know, what yeah. should someone set aside in order for that to happen? Like I know in marketing, we always say, oh, put a, you know, put aside 10% of your gross income, you know, and reinvest it in yourself in marketing. But like, is it a portion of what your, I don't even know how it works. I don't even know what the step, first step is. Is it okay, well, the $5 million dollars to do a book or? <laughs> yeah, I, I like that $5 million. <clears throat> the last three books I did took over a year and they cost the authors, a hundred thousand. Um, I also do smaller books that I call, I trademark the word bikini, and those are very effective. You can write a bikini of say 60 pages with my help, put it on Amazon as an ebook, charge 99 cents or $1.99, and maybe hundreds of thousands, if not a million people could buy it if you have a strong focus, you know, a good strong title and subtitle and topic and then just you have to market it obviously some people come to me they and they they're crying judy i spent two three years writing this book uh i put it on amazon and nobody is buying it and i say what do you, what did you do to market it and they're like market and i say would you open a retail store spend a fortune fixing it up and then on opening day not advertise just pray that people come in. So writing a good book is primary and secondary, you have to have some kind of a decent budget uh, for anywhere from 3,500 to 5,000 a month and sometimes more. You know, I have some special rates for people when I go strike their book, but I'm a one-stop shop. If we get your book published, whether it's self-published or we get you an agent and a publisher, uh, if you're willing to wait a year and a half, two years for your book to come out, if you want your book yesterday, uh, meaning immediately, which many people do because they want to use it as their marketing tool, then you have to self-publish. And there are a lot of benefits to that. And I take it through the whole process of self-publishing as well. And you've worked with bestsellers. You, you, I mean, you're, you are renowned in this industry. So if somebody is going to do something like this, they definitely want to have Judy Katz on their team. Um, one of the things that I want to talk about too is that you're just, I, spitfire isn't the right word. I want to, I want to say something about your zest, your zest for life, like uh, that you are cause in the being. And you mentioned to me that at the uh, age of 18, you moved out of your house, you moved to California. And I think that your personality, Judy, is exactly the same way. I think you bring that zest to everything that you do. And that's what people need. They need that cheerleader and they need somebody to hold them accountable in well, order to get something. it done. I'm so the disobedient stop rocks. I write a regular blog. And it's all about changing the conversation about aging because I'm 82 and on August 29th, so this year I'll be 83, and I never lie about my age. And I'm proud that I have a lot of rings around my tree. And, you know, there are people in their 50s and 60s and, and so on who are shriveled up crab apples <laughs> at, a, at 20, 30 years younger than me. So this is what 82 looks like 
and um, I will expire before I retire. Indeed. I plan on doing the same thing myself. I know you've got a very special trip planned soon. You're going to be traveling, you know, and we were yes. talking about journaling and writing down these things. I'm looking forward when you get back uh, to breaking bread with you. I'll come into Manhattan and, and we'll dine somewhere. Wonderful. And, uh, and we'll talk about the possibility of me putting, um, you know, <laughs> pen to paper. Uh, thank you, Judy Katz. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. I'm, I'm glad to have you in my new circle of life. It's, it's a pleasure to know you. Wow, Judy Katz. I mean, you should read about all of her accolades. And if you have a book, please reach out to her because I believe that she's the person that could take it from concept to completion. Be well and thanks for watching.